you with the box? What was in the box? Nothing. Yes. What's in the box? I I told you there's nothing in here. Take it, give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? All right, you know what? Fine, fine. Come here. Come here. Alright guys, we're going to start off with some wood that I found outside of a dumpster. It's about 3 quarters inch thick by 9 inches wide. And you guys can buy this at Lowe's or Home Depot, any big box store like that. And my dimensions are about 12 inches high. And the box is about 12 inches wide and about 8 inches thick. So um, I don't even personally know the exact dimensions. And the box didn't turn out square at all. so. My dimensions wouldn't even help you but uh we got a pretty good looking box out of it so right now i'm just cutting out the sides the angle is about 35 degrees if that helps you out at all but once we chopped all those out i had to make everything nice and pretty symmetrical so i clamped the two pieces together which are the sides and knocked off all the high spots so that they're pretty much mirror images of each other With the sides all set, I lined them up with the front of the box and marked where I needed to cut off so that the corners matched up. And then I started flattening these guys. Now I'm only putting some fancy dowel joints in these guys. Uh, so I'm marking them with my scratch awl and then I chopped out some cheap dowel rods. And now you're probably thinking, how can these be fancy with cheap dowel rods? Well, we're gonna drill a hole in them, and then we're gonna put another dowel rod inside of there, so it's gonna look kinda like an eye, or a circle within a circle. It's a pretty simple process. We drill the hole, we put some glue in it, and then we put another dowel rod in there. Now to hold the side onto the front of the box, I put a nail in there and then now I'm drilling the holes for the dowel rods to go. Then I pulled that nail out of there and stuck a dowel rod in that hole. Now, free wood is not always the best quality wood, and this board had a big old crack running down the middle of it, so I stuck a butterfly or a bow tie in there, and that's going to make it look nice, but no one's going to see it since it's on the inside. But most importantly, it'll help keep that board from splitting all the way and cracking in half. Now since I kind of rushed into this project, I had to go out and buy more wood, which wasn't too big of a deal but uh, I could have saved a trip. Anyways, I'm chopping out the back right now and we'll go ahead and put some glue on there and we'll put some dowel rods in there later, but for now we're just gonna get it set on the back. And I don't have any sort of fancy big clamps to clamp this together, so I got this thing called a human clamp and just took a nap on it for about 10 minutes. And once that was done, I traced out what the bottom of the box looks like on another piece of wood and chopped that out of there. And with some fine tuning with the plane, we could get it nice and snug in the bottom. Then we'll toss some dowels in there, and I'm not doing anything fancy with these because the back will be against the wall. 
And while I have the body of the chest open, I'm going to take advantage of that and sand the inside. Now as I said earlier, nothing on this box is square and nothing really matched up the best. So I had to plane everything flat. That way it doesn't rock back and forth on the desk. Then we'll glue up our bottom and tap it on in there. We'll also put a couple nails in there and that's just going to keep it nice and tight. Then we'll plane all the joints flush so it looks like I know what I'm doing. Then I went to Walmart and picked up some cheap brass plated hinges and put the lid on that way I know how it's going to sit when it's on the box. And there was a pretty good gap sticking out the side so I chopped that off with the saw. And then vigorously flattened that because I wasn't very happy with how this was turning out at the time. And lastly we're going to put a bevel on the lid so that it's going to sit flat with the face of the box. We also need to cover up those nails that we put in there, and to do that, I milled up some hickory, I think it was, because it smelled like bacon when I was planting it. Uh, and we put that on the side so it'll look nice and cover up the nails. And I didn't have any clamps, so I used some painter's tape. We'll do some finishing touches with sandpaper, and then we're ready to stain. Now the top and back weren't anything to write home about because it's just some cheap pine glue together, and it turned out all right, but what was really surprising was the free wood, and that turned out great. We'll put a couple coats of shellac on there and then install the hardware. I'm going to be using a bolt to keep the lid on tight and this only works vertically because the top of the box follows a circular path and the bolt sticks straight up and down so when we try to open it the first force is actually perpendicular to the bolt so it won't open. And after I brand the bottom you guys will see how it works. Thanks for watching.